Hi everyone, Rick McKnight, St. Thomas Episcopal Church with another hymn sketch. Last time I told you Nicole Cicada sung in our choir for years and years and years and in many choirs, uh, had chosen two. Her second one uh, was brand new to the hymnal 1982 uh, and it's 412, Earth and All Stars. A fellow named Herbert Brokering wrote this for the 90th anniversary of St. Olaf College, um, Great Lutheran Church, wonderful imagery. And David Johnson, who was a composition professor at Arizona State, added the exuberant music. What's interesting is that it was the text and the tune that were together. Uh, so if you can imagine just a church full of Lutherans bellowing uh, this out. So Nicole has a funny story about this. Now remember, she sung in the St. Thomas Choir for almost as long as Raymond Campbell. Uh, when St. Thomas first learned uh, this hymn, we were on a retreat at Holy Trinity, Alabama. Art Coliani, who owned a music store here, and he was the first oboist in the Columbus Symphony, had been the choir rep to a diocesan meeting to help learn new hymns that were gonna be in the hymnal. And so he was trying to teach this to the St. Thomas Choir. I just love, I will quote this directly from Nicole. We were so confused. We began singing at a dirge tempo and Art kept trying to bring us along, banging the baton uh, on the music stand. We tried so hard to learn it, but it was brand new with so many unusual words. It ended up as our least favorite new hymn. Guess what? Now it's my second favorite hymn for the same reason as the first one. Praise to the Lord, be it with alleluias or cymbals or test tubes. So I'm going to play a few of these and it's sort of fun to word paint. Thank you. 